Hello and welcome my friend. Today I would like to show you how page scripts work. Page scripts can be found in the edit mode of a live report page in the top right corner. A page script is simply a little script that is executed whenever you open the page. The page script is pretty similar to the scripting widget. So you can use HTML, JavaScript or Velocity to write your code. There is one big difference, however, and this is that whatever you print out here in the script, so in my example, the little Hello World heading, is never visible on the live page itself. This is also why you have this little Show Results button. Well, where is the sense in having a script if you cannot display any information on the screen with it? Hmm. In some cases, you may want to define global variables that you want to reuse in several widgets on the same page at the same time. And so you would not need to rewrite the same code over and over again. To define a global variable, we use the page context object. We use the put method and the first parameter of the method is the name of your variable. So in my example, it's hello. And the second parameter, we separate the parameters with a comma, is our little HTML code and then we just close the brackets. The page context object is a collection, so you can add any type of objects to it, not just strings as in my example. To read out again the global variable that you have defined, uh, we do pretty much the same. We just say page context, but this time we do not put the value, we get the value. So we say get and then we provide the name of the variable. Right, so let's use the show results button again. And yep, here it is, hello world. It's a good practice when your page script displays all the global variables that you have defined. So when you click on show results, you will see the variables and their values. Let's verify if we can access the global variable we have defined in the page script also from a, let's say, a script widget. So we say page context, get hello. And here it is, the first time on a live report page, our hello variable. If you want to see a good example of a page script, have a look at the system requirement system test case coverage report page, which is shipped as part of the drive pilot example project. Let's have a look at how the page script works. In a nutshell, you can see there is a query variable defined and the query variable is updated based on the values that the user has entered. If you're interested, there is another video which explains in more detail how page parameters work. We can use the query to find all the relevant requirement work items. You can see there are two variables defined here, uncovered IDs and covered IDs, and these variables will be filled with this little loop here. So the loop iterates through all the requirement work items and then checks, is it a covered item or is it an uncovered item? Meaning there is a link or there isn't a link between the two items. And then it just adds the work item ID to the corresponding variable. So for example, if it finds a covered item, it will append the ID to the covered IDs variable. You can see that the developer has decided at the end to print out the values of the variables so that when we click on show results, we can see the content of the variables. And again, that's very helpful if you need to understand why something is displayed on the screen and maybe if there is something wrong with the variables that you have defined. So let's have a look at the widgets to understand how the variables are reused. If we take the pie chart widget, for example, you can see it's very clean, very easy to understand that here we query for covered IDs. Just imagine all the code of our page script would be inside this box. It would be really hard to understand. And that's all for today. Thanks for watching.